Monsters. The following is a presentation of TFNN.
thing. It blew my mind. Okay, so what's next? China? Guess what? You know what's going to happen with China, folks? The bottom line is that they're not going to let those companies grow. We're going to keep growing. Bottom line, there's only one USA, man. That's the bottom line. U.S. Yeah, USA. Dow Industrials up two, down 260. NASDAQ off 98. S&P's down 37. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down uh, 303. The Nasdaq's off 110. S&P's are down 42. So let's go inside the Dow and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Industrials out here today. Uh, a weakness, uh, you get uh, Goldman Sachs. That's uh, putting 63 negative points. Home Depot, 33. Travelers, 24. American Express, 23. Uh, putting positive into it is that you have Boeing, uh, 29, and Amgen, 5. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness there. You get Moderna's up 5%, Biogen's up 3.3, Amazon's up 1. Taken away from it, CSX. Oh, this is, this is good. We've got to take a look at this. That's down 5.5%. Uh, you got Trip.com up 4.7, Baidu's down 3.6. Let's go back to CSX for a second because this is a, well, it's, it's 6%, but it's only a couple dollars. But let's see what's happening here. So, the low of CSX, $20, $22, the high is $34. That was established on May 10th. 
They get some volume on the way down here, man. What's this all about? This is breaking a swing with volume. Okay. So they come up with numbers on the 21st. They broke that swing on volume. That sets up uh, 30 bucks for a 31. That's on your daily. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, 31 to 27 is game. Let's go to the transports. So the transports right now, they're down good. They're down 500 bucks. Interesting. See this? Yeah, they're breaking a swing too. Look at this. This is a one-way trip from the transports. Okay, so the transports, well, they're not breaking the swing on, on volume. So transports are at 14,450 and 14, looks like 14,000. The swing, the swing point going back to, uh, what is this, March, March of 2021. That's what it looks like it wants to go after. There's a high volume spike there. That's what it looks like it wants to go after. Let me just do FDX. Let me see what's happening here. Because what you do have, uh, that's only down 32 cents. Not bad. Baltic. Yeah. You want to see something crazy, folks, if I can get this quick. This Baltic index, this is like, this has gone up so dramatically. Come on, where are you? Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I just can't get it quick. But the bottom line is that, the, you know, I've been talking about this. The, the numbers came out uh, this morning. They, and the, these containers, the containers have gone from the average price of about $1,500 um, up to basically $10,000, folks, for one container. We're not talking about buying the container. We're talking, we're talking about, uh, bottom line, just shipping the container. Um, so it's going to be intriguing uh, watching the transports in general because I, I suspect that there's going to be plenty of people that are going to balk at the aspect of paying that kind of money. Now, I'm not quite sure what the Amazons and the Walmarts in the world can do, um, if they can do anything. But there's plenty of other businesses that basically can get along with out. Uh, bottom line, shipping goods, you know, over. Because why would you ship goods over if you're going to lose money on them? It doesn't make any sense. Now, I can picture the bigger guys, but not small business guys. It's like, okay, you're out, you're out of stock. <laughs> it's better being out of stock if, if you think you're going to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 grand on a uh, container, folks. It doesn't even make any sense. XAU, the HUI. Let's see what we have out here. We're going to be kicking into the weekend. This is what I suspect we're going to see out here is this. You know, the way that the yen has traded... And the U.S. dollar today, my take is that we're going to kick into the um, weekend, okay, um, bottom line with gold in an uptrend, okay? Uh, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, we just got some feedback. It's good feedback from my man, uh, Dan New York, and he had just paid 3800 for a used container, the most ever. Yeah, that's intense. That, that is definitely intense. And that's what I suspect is going to happen because the, you, you get bottlenecks. That's, what, that's what's going on out here. There's, there's bottlenecks, and the biggest bottleneck is in China. There's no, well, you get China, you get, it's the biggest bottlenecks in China right now. There's no doubt about that. And you know, it gets interesting. Dan, if you, I, 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 only, I only have one extra container right now, but in, in the future, if I get a few more, maybe you can send me the trucks down to Florida. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. <laughs> it's, you know, it's so funny, folks, is that when I, when I bring goods over, I buy the containers. I purposely buy them just because they're, they're always good for storage. They're good to have uh, in, in general. So, so XAU, X, let's take a look at this. XAU right now, so this is down 503 today. I don't get the volume till later on tonight. So actually what we want to do is GDX. Let's look at the GDX. So the GDX hasn't reached its swing point, which is great. The swing point there is 33.30. 30. 
And um, we are at 33.54. You do have an expansion of volume. So it's saying that's saying it's going to go uh, make a run on this one tomorrow. 30, well, yeah, 33, 30, well, 33.38. It all depends. It's, it's, too, it's too late in the day for any type of acceleration on the way up. But, yeah, I suspect that's going to get hit. Oh, and we talk about we got to congratulate the Tampa Bay Lightning. Another Stanley Cup for final, folks. If you like uh, hockey, uh, bottom line is that there was some great hockey out there. Montreal, they, all these players are so great. It's, it's so tough losing to be on that side. Um, you know, of course, we want, we want the Tampa Bay to win. Uh, my take is they definitely had a better team, though. They, you know, but it, it is absolutely amazing how good these guys are. It's like, oh, everything's like a, you know, like a ping, not a, a pinball. I mean, they, they're, they're bang, banging that puck around so quick, and the passes are so quick. It's just phenomenal. Then all the, the key, it seems, in the playing these days is that you get a huge amount of people in front of the net. You hit the puck, and everyone wants to get their stick on the puck, and you do a redirection, okay? Um, you get a redirection going, man, and guess what? That thing's going in. Yeah, as our man Steve Rose says, Nikita Kucherov, one of the best players. There's no doubt. And you know what's amazing, with, um, which is really pretty cool, he got in the record books with uh, a uh, huge amount of people that if you're a hockey fan – that they were, you know, messy air. I mean, the guys that just have gone down to the history books um, as being phenomenal. There, there's no doubt about that. And their depth, their depth is unbelievable. You know, the guy, listen to this, the guy Colson, that got, they got the goal, I think he just, he just got out of the University of Vermont last year. I mean, <laughs> pretty amazing. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. 
Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is off at 307. NASDAQ's off 121. S&Ps are off 42. So if we take a look at the volume out here and on this pullback, inside the NYSE, folks, yeah, it's going to be short volume. You're going to do 900. Uh, it doesn't look like you do a billion on the NYSE. On the composite, you're going to do about, we're at 4 billion right now. You're going to maybe 4.5. So the bottom line is that, yeah, you have to pull back. But guess what? You, this is not the type of pullback um, that you have an expanded volume. And <laughs> if you're going to go lower prices, man, you need expanded volume. So what you have out here inside the uh, SPY right now, that's a little, you get a little expanded volume here. You get, you get 80 million. That's, that, is, that, is, that is definitely expanded volume. Uh, you're coming into another 80. You did reject price at 427. NDX 100. Let's see what this got to do so far. This has done 45. So you get, you get expanded volume there too. You rejected, I mean, the, ND, the NDX is the number. You rejected 354. You're at 358. The NDX is only down $2.77, which is a joke. And it doesn't look like it wants to even stay down at that level. It looks like it wants to try to run back uh, into this uh, 359 area. You're 75 cents away from it right now. What is going to get intriguing tonight inside the metals market is this yen. The yen has come down fast and furious. Let me pull this up, JPY, just to see this intraday our time. Uh, no, not quite. Now, this is, this is last night. Okay, this is last night. So... We'll see where this shakes out tonight, but it looks to me like that yen wants to get much stronger. Uh, and the, uh, the, rate, the, the, yen, the way the yen's set up right now is to run to 107. You're at 109.80. If that's what we get, we are going to get some nice action inside of the gold market because a stronger yen brings gold up tremendously, folks. What we did get is that we didn't get smoked on gold when the yen actually got a lot weaker. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like an ace big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, fly with it. Everything you need, folks, is right inside you. Have a blast with it. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show. Look at him, folks. <laughs>